Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You guys have a superstar. The only thing that worries me a little bit is his ability to mix everything together. He is a little bit more hittable than other fights would show. I don't know if that's just because Corey is very good defensively. He's able to draw those things out a little bit more. He made Umar fight a little bit more different than somebody like O'Malley would. It worries me a little bit him fighting O'Malley because you can't get touched that many times unless you're Cheeto and get fit, not get finished. Now, uh, Numar Gamedov did a very, very good job neutralizing Corey Sanhagen. I thought Corey's defense would also make him have very good offense. It didn't necessarily play out like that. Umar was able to outstrike him and get takedowns when he needed it, scrambles when he needed it. At the end of the fifth round, when Corey needed to finish and bring out the fight, he was able to get grounded and nothing. He wasn't able to do anything. So pretty decisive 4-1 victory for Umar Nurmagomedov, which is a big, big win. And then you go on to the next one, which is Shara Magomedov versus Michael Olenchechek. You see a little bit more holes from Shara because of the fight that Michael Olenchechek is able to bring out of him. But he was still impressive. He's 14-0 against a guy that is durable. He didn't gas out. His, his wrestling is a little bit of an issue because he's, he's able to get taken down. Um, he does defend sometimes, but he also grabs the cage at times. A little bit concerning there. Also... Marlon Vera, I don't know if he needs to retire. I don't know what he needs to do, but his offensive ability just isn't there. I picked him because I thought he would come out with a fire lit underneath his ass, um, and he didn't. That's the reality. Marlon Vera didn't show up. He didn't fight. Davis Aviero was actually able to drop him with a big right hand, which, great job. He was able to be a little bit more quicker, and he honestly, he just went out there and had output. Marlon Vera didn't really fight. And then Tony Ferguson loses eight in a row. Moving forward on him, I know it's not pressure, but moving forward on him, gets uh, uh, a duck under takedown for Kiesa, gets his back, it gets him down uh, to the ground, gets his hooks in there. Initially, Tony Ferguson fights off the rear naked choke, inevitably gets choked out by a rear naked choke by Michael Kiesa. Then Mackenzie Dern fights Lupita Gudinez, and Mackenzie Dern striking looked really good in this fight. I didn't think Lupita Gudinez won a round. I maybe could see a 2-1. to one. MMA Jesus, follow him on Twitter. He thought Gudinez won the rounds 2-3. and three. I did not. Dern had, uh, had the more power, the more effective striking, which is what they count. I had Mackenzie Dern winning that matchup. And where you go here from here is, is weird because she's, she has a win over uh, Verna Janja Dobra. So I don't really know where you go from here because you just wait and see who wins that matchup. I, I, I guess you could. And then probably the biggest um, performance of the night was Joel Alvarez versus Elvis Brenner. I thought Brenner being the dog that he is, I didn't expect Joel Alvarez's uh, height to be that much of an issue. Brenner just on his back foot consistently from the moment the fight started. And Alvarez stayed calm. Had good takedown defense, which is something he's never had before, and was able to be the first one to finish Elvis Brenner. He did a very, very good job picking his shots, made Brenner come to him, and then the finishing sequence caught him with a big, nasty left hook in an exchange that didn't need to take place, really. To finish him. Big. He took like 20 unanswered knees. It was it was nuts. Alonzo Manifield takes a fight with less than three months recovery, getting knocked out by Carlos Olberg. And as Azamat was able to finish him in the second round. Looked like the momentum was shifting a little bit. That Azamat was getting tired. But as soon as he caught Menafield, put him out. So it's a bad loss for uh, Alonzo Menafield. And then, you know, not much more to report on. Jai Herbert gets an, a, a much needed win. Cedric Dumas gets a win. Sam Hughes upsets Victoria Dudakova. Gurum narrowly beats Jordan Vechnik. Vuch, Vuchnik? Vuchnik? Um, I thought Jordan Vucinic looked really good in that first round. Just kind of slowed down a little bit in the second, the third. Almost got lackadaisical. Um, didn't, I guess, feel the threat. And Gurum was able to edge out a victory. Now, uh, Shamil Gazeev got back on the track. Kai Fernandez got a win, which I don't know why people didn't pick him. More people didn't pick him. He's He looked good against Mark Casey. Argument he won. But as, as a result, this card was, was, was good. Not incredible, but good. Um, not a whole ton of finishes once again. 
one, two, three, four, four finishes out of 13 fights. Not a lot of them came in this one and in the previous pay-per-view, but it's not bad. Where do you go from here? Umar Nurmagomedov has to fight the winner of Sean O'Malley and Marab Davalos. Really, I really like the Shara Bolton bullet for Magomedov versus Nick Diaz, but he needs to find fight a wrestler. That's the reality. Vicente Luque, sure. That's not a bad one. Honestly, that's probably the, the fight that I would I would I would say do. Um Davis and Figueredo probably wait um to fight the winner of uh um of uh the, the O'Malley fight, or you could do Umar versus Davis and Figueredo. They're both 135. Umar just beat the number two guy, Figgy beat i think the number one guy in marlon vera if i'm correct is he ranked number one uh ranked number eight so but e either way either way i, I think davis and the should fight umar that's a great great matchup michael chiesa do whatever you want with him but as a whole probably a c plus boys for a whole on the card not not bad not great but a star is made and it might not be the one you're thinking of and as always guys subscribe like comment let me know who you were picking see you tonight